much as anybody else does for the same price. By Roy's calculation, this strategy nets him an extra $6 a month. I do not enjoy two-ply toilet paper being separated. I just kind of refold it so that it's a little thicker. Toilet paper is a lot like life in general. The closer you get to the end, the faster it seems to go. Americans spend over $300 billion a year on clothes, but Roy's share since 2009 has been a grand total of nine bucks. I had a nice shirt that was my favorite shirt. It fit me well and I really liked it. I had bought it new. It was off a clearance rack at a store. I paid $8 for it. And after wearing it for about a year or so, it got an ink stain from a pen in the pocket. So I went to the dry cleaner. They told me it would be about $12, so naturally that didn't sit right with me. I donated it to the thrift store. I went back two days later. They had taken the stain out completely, and I purchased it for $1. Today does happen to be my anniversary. Lisa and I are married for 25 years now. I proposed when I found out that I needed some dental surgery, which would have been rather expensive. I had a job. You didn't have a job. I had insurance. You needed periodontal surgery. Got married on a Tuesday. Got your surgery me. on a Wednesday. Got my surgery on a Wednesday. Uh. What a country. My goals are to find something nice to give my wife Lisa for our anniversary. <laughs> Be it from a dumpster, a discount store, or even on the side of the road. I don't know when I'm coming back. The gifts. There's no, like, diamonds, there's no necklaces, there's no extravagant trips. The icing on the cake should be the dinner out tonight. I don't know what I'll be bringing home, but it'll be something. You never know what you'll come up with in the land of opportunity. Hopefully, I won't have to spend as much as $10, which I try not to. As a professional, what I take with me is a crate and a pair of work gloves. And those are my tools of the trade, so to speak. Some husbands have different kinds of hobbies. My husband has a hobby of dumpster diving. I mean, it might be a little bit more um, socially acceptable for him to take up golf. Anniversary gift for Lisa. Clean them up a little bit. Roses. Now that says romance. I found it. A lovely gift from Lisa. She drinks tea. If it's free, it's for me. But while Roy prefers price tags that read zero, it is his 25th wedding anniversary. So he stops into the liquidation center to see if he can scare up another cheap present or two. Lisa is usually not anticipating anything too luxurious in the way of gifts. 29 cents. Lisa loves animals, and she does like animal crackers, and they happen to have some here. They're not even expired. she love it. She likes bottled water. And here it is at the right price. It's a little more than I wanted to spend. It's 99 cents, but I'm gonna go all out this year. I think she's gonna love it. The weirdest gift I ever got, Lisa. Takes a little thought. I brought her some doozies. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. You have a good day. Having spent less than $2 so far on his wife for their 25th wedding anniversary, Roy finishes his shopping day by putting together a card. I'm writing a nice anniversary card for Lisa. It's one that's been given to her in the past. I'm just rearranging it. Hi, Lisa. Wishing you a happy anniversary. Hope to see you soon. Roy. Coming up, Lisa celebrates 25 years of being married to the self-proclaimed cheapest man in the world. Close your eyes. And... We meet a mother of six so cheap, she refuses to buy toilet paper. This is kind of good. It's okay. It's clean. 